Rome Fantasy Pack 1 is set up on a 50 centimeter grid. So before we begin, let's do a little bit of setup here. Let's go to Edit, Preference. Make sure Snap the Grid is turned on. And if we go to Show Grid, make sure our grid spacing is set to 50 centimeters. You can keep that grid on if you like, but if you turn it off, your grid snapping will still be enabled. A lot of the architecture is built off 90 degree rotation. So you can also have angle snap turned on as well. Control W will do snap the grid and Control E will do angle snap, just for future reference. Inside the content panel, let's go to sets and hit the custom tab and go to the prop rollout here. And you see we have all the architecture, props, scenes, and even materials for the Rome pack. Rome is a highly modular asset pack. The architecture contains various degrees of modularity, which enables you to make your own buildings, your own size, your own footprint with many different materials. In the architecture folder, we have modular and pre-built subfolders. In the pre-built subfolder, you see three fully built large buildings you can use to get started quickly. But there is much more. There are tons of props to further augment the pre-built architecture or create your own entirely with windows, walls, corners, wood supports, foundations, various arches, and even terracotta roofing. You can find all that in the modular folder. I'm going to cover how to use all these pieces in detail in a later video. There's a materials folder, but the contents doesn't show up in the content tab. When you're placing architecture, you can swap out materials by loading the new materials located in this subfolder on your hard drive. I'll cover that in the architecture video too. There are tons of awesome props in the props room folder. The great majority are custom unwrapped with projected normal maps for the best quality possible. In the root of the props folder, you'll have a series of high resolution village props. Ceramic bowls, pots, baskets, crates, ladders, tables, even a trunk with a lid you can animate. In the architecture folder, you have clotheslines, fencing, shelves, cloth overhangs. The blacksmith folder has blacksmith tools, an anvil, a sharpening stone. The food folder has a variety of small foods. The ground folder is where you can decorate the ground. You can use the plain six meter or the platform stone objects to act as floors, then swap out their materials just like you would with the architecture. There's also stairs and elevated wood walkways. And finally, the nature folder has rocks of various sizes as well as a simple cypress tree.